Henri Goose. <laughs> so we're back from our trip to Blackfoot. That's the big old bag of grain we got. Thing weighs 1,600 pounds. It's made the truck swim a little coming home. Need to go get a bucket of that and go feed that steer and or not a steer. It's a it's a heifer cow and uh, the burrow dairy dairy cow is what it is. But anyway, the uh, that trip down there past the INL, they've changed the name of that place several times since we've lived here. It used to be the INEL, which was Idaho National Engineering Laboratories. Then it was the N, let's see, I N E E L, which I think was uh, Idaho National Energy Engineering Laboratories, something like that. Now it's just the I N L, Idaho National Laboratory. And uh, the you know, we've been by there a bunch of times. We don't go that direction very often, but we've been down past there plenty, and I never looked into just what that was all about. So uh, I looked it up on my phone, and here's what I found. So it says here that the INL, Idaho, in Idaho, stands for Idaho National Laboratory, a U.S. Department of Energy site in southeastern Idaho focused on national energy, national security, and integrated energy systems known as the birthplace of nuclear power. I didn't know that. Um, a major hub for reactor research, testing, and clean energy innovation. It's a vast 890 square mile facility. A lot bigger than I thought. You know, driving by there, you can't really see much from the road. Off to the, if you're going south, uh, off to the right, it'd be, I guess, east. Uh, there's something over there that you can see, especially coming back at night. There's a bunch of lights, but uh, no wonder you can't see it. If it's that big, it's probably miles away down the, down the way. Um... Anyway, 890 square mile facility, home to unique research infrastructure for developing next generation nuclear reactors, securing cri critical infrastructure, and advancing sustainable energy solutions. Uh, key aspects of the INL is national research, the nation's leading center for nuclear energy, R&D testing, advanced fuels, reactor designs, and managing spent fuel. I knew I'd heard rumors for years that that's where they store a lot of nuclear waste, which <laughs> a little bit worrisome there. Um, energy security focuses on creating secure, sustainable energy systems, including integrated energy systems and grid resilience. National security works on protecting crit critical infrastructure, cybersecurity, and nuclear non-proliferation pro proliferation efforts. Uh, history is established as the nation as the national reactor testing station. It's where the first U.S. nuclear reactor for power generation was built and tested. I didn't know this. Uh, location: the main facilities are west of Idaho Falls, with its headquarters in Idaho Falls. In essence, the INL is a cru crucial national asset driving innovation in energy and security for the USA. You know, when you hear the word nuclear, it kind of makes you worry a little bit. I mean, that place has been there a long time, and I guess it's safe. It hasn't been any big problems that I know of, but uh, I have heard some rumors. I guess babies in that area are born with no clothes. Some aren't even born with teeth. makes you worry a little bit. I couldn't live down in this part of Idaho. 
so flat you can watch your dog run away for three days. Jackrabbits get hit by lightning because they're taller than nothing and they all surround them. Town of Mud Lake, Idaho. Population is West Jefferson they call it I'm not positive we don't come this way very often Tarrington Elementary School it says maybe it's Tarrington this says West Jefferson though I don't know where we are. Lily, you having fun yet? Tupperware. Tupperware? <laughs> uh oh. big road. Two lanes isn't so bad. It gets more than that. It gets be a little much for me. The majority of our roads we drive back home are dirt, really. We go up in the woods and stuff more than anything else. And don't get all that far from home. fields down here. Back. We got 
gotta go to this place. Big surplus army store. They got some neat stuff. There's what I need right on top of that post. down through here. <laughs> Windows are a little dirty. <laughs> time we've been down here in, in years and years I hear a choo-choo Kind of a neat old building. So, we're lost. <laughs> Waiting for a friend to come down and show us where to go. I'm not sure what grims are, but they grow them here. Not a lot of wolves down here. <laughs> Probably a lot of fox and coyotes and badgers though. So we have a big old giant bag in the back of the truck. It's not very straight up and down though. <coughs> I'm gonna try to shove it over a little straighter when we get up to her house. 